Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, I got something pretty darn cool. I was kind of on the fence about it. I was like, okay, well, you know, let's, let's take a look at them. Take a look-see. Found them in the stores, and uh, lo and behold, these are the new McFarlane Toys 2022 Superpowers. And we got a little bit of some, uh, you know, vehicles going on. We got three new action figures, right? Uh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, they, they got that glorious packaging on all of them. So you have the Supermobile, Superman's action vehicle. Uh, I'm very interested in this. I like this old goofy superhero type stuff. I didn't exactly collect superpowers. I have a few. I got a garage sales here and there. But I mean, look at this thing. It's got jail cells on both sides. And it has punching action. That's the greatest thing ever. You have a supermobile that punches things. It doesn't shoot lasers. It punches you to death. And then a canopy opens, which is just so classic Kenner. It's ridiculous. And here's the barcode as well. They are starting to trickle into Walmart stores now. They're Walmart exclusive. So, yeah, you got to deal with that whole thing. But uh, much like the Supermobile, we have the Batwing, Batman's air combat vehicle. This thing looks glorious. It brings back all that 80s nostalgia, right? Even if you didn't collect superpowers, Batman 89, the comic books, the canopy opens. It's got a capture claw, right? So you can, uh, you know, drop people into uh, rivers or scare the heck out of them, try to get information on uh, Daggett, right? You know what I'm talking about, Batman the Animated Series Peoples. And of course, yes, here is the barcode for the Batwing as well. Now, in terms of the figures, the initial first wave will only have three figures. So we have Darkseid, not classic Darkseid, that was in the original Superpowers line. This is New 52, he's also new for 22, in case you were wondering, in case that doesn't get uh, too confusing but the artwork the packaging this is one of those lines where i could definitely see myself getting another set i'm not joking this is classic stuff right here and i really like it however i'm gonna open these up and uh yeah i'm probably not gonna get doubles but uh, superman dark side batman on the back of the card you get to see the batwing and of course the supermobile i love the old cross cells it's so much fun to see these and not only that, you got the classic Dark Side logo, and you got a bio to boot. That's awesome. Here's the barcode for Dark Side. Shout out to McFarlane Toys for putting the names on the barcodes, especially when you look it up on top shelves. Just saying. The multiverse. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the next up is Superman. Classic looking Superman. I cannot wait to open this guy up. I love the way that this looks. You got the bio, you got everything. It looks all the same, same card, everything else. And of course, here is the barcode for Monsieur Cal L, the classic Superman as well, which then brings us to a very gym lead Batman. And I like the color scheme going on on this guy. He looks good. I am interested to see how the capes look. And then you have the Batman logo. You got the bio, everything. It's just, it's great. It's fantastic packaging. Great looking old school art style. Just, I'm all about this. This is going to be fun. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new for 22 McFarlane Toys Superpowers 2022. Dark Side Superman, Batman, Batwing, and the Supermobile. Let's check them out. And while I got all you superpowers peoples here, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Old toys, new toys, old new toys, much like these are, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, let's talk about some new superpowers. And we're going to start it off with Darkseid, Michael Ironside himself. Now, I'm totally going to agree with most people here and say, you know, I'm not too keen on the new 52 anything right so it was okay a lot of overly designed stuff you know what i mean but i will say that while there is the classic superpowers the usual dark side cape and all this design actually lends itself to a very retro feel there is not this over design quality to it it's just that very simple look for dark side with some added color but the simplicity of the figure and the articulation makes this design work. And I like the reds, the yellows. The yellows could have been uh, just a little bit better painted. It's the usual articulation you'd expect. The head's gonna go left and right. It's not gonna be ball jointed. The arms are gonna go up and down and you got the legs and then you also have knees. There's nothing at the elbow. So these are the every bit, the classic epitome of superpowers 
And I totally dig that. I just like everything about this. Batman is also no exception. Now, a few qualms on Batman and Superman, which we will talk about. I will say that overall, just in looking at it, he's just sitting on your shelf. That is awesome looking. The head sculpt is okay. I think it's, one, it's very superpowers-ish. Like, it's a little bit more elongated, you know what I mean, in that sense, on the top of the head. But I really like the blues that they chose. I love the grays, the utility belts. I'm just not sold on the capes. The capes wouldn't have bothered me all too much, right? You have the figure itself. And you can use classic capes, too. I'll show you what that looks like. But I like that it's got the C-clip, right? I'm not hard up on the cape being shiny. I don't mind that. But they tabbed in the little plastic hook to the packaging right through the cape. And because the cape isn't cloth, it's more like a taffeta, like a ribbon. Like, like what they use in Batman 66, it's not forgiving. It wrinkles... It's like paper, basically. So now you have a giant hole, like, I'm being dramatic, but a hole in your cape, and I just, I don't like that. I do like the shininess of it, but if this was like a cloth cape with the shiny, that's totally cool. Now, same thing as Dark Side, the head, the legs, the arms, you could put Batman in the bat plane, which is so friggin' much fun. I'm going to show you that in just a second, but uh, yeah, it's an awesome looking Batman, even for being a Jim Lee Batman, hush, Batman, we'll see. Now, we have Superman, and this by far, Superman and his Supermobile are my favorites of the Superpowers 2022 first wave. I There's something about the classic look of Superman. It's not the new 52. He's got the red trunks. He could have used a little bit more paint in the belt loops. Just saying, I would have loved that just to put a little bit extra paint on the other sides of his belts, right? I don't need it on the back. It's fine. I'll let it go. For 10 bucks, like think about it, for $10, it's a great deal. It's a great looking Superman. That's some old fashioned pricing right there. You even have the Superman logo on the back, but then you got that hole in the cape. And mine's a little bit more pronounced than the Batman one, unfortunately. So, yes, going forward, I will say, of anything, of all the changes, happy with the articulation and whatnot, the paint's great. Please change the capes because the capes deserve what these figures, they deserve to be cloth goods and now we get into the vehicles this is the batwing this thing is is amazing the box is so tiny when you buy it in the stores and you pull this thing out it, it's just every single classic look for batman and that's what i think i've been missing a lot with mcfarland now they do a great job with dc multiverse they got batman 66 which is a great line as well but i've been missing this classic feel and I haven't felt that since Justice League Unlimited with Mattel right but you can zip all around Gotham City it just looks great now right here you push this pops the canopy open I haven't had one of those in years that's so cool inside you got stickers and they're already applied that's fantastic you got a little bat steering wheel that's a nice touch right there and of course you can slide your Batman into the cockpit <laughs> and it just oh man I'm gonna show you all that in just a second it's very shiny plastic it's a lot of fun on the underside right here is a trigger and uh, you know he's got the whole thing right there so you can go after bell right like i said try to get news on roland daggett and you can drop him into the river last chance scumwad you know what i mean like that whole thing or you know even cut balloons like in batman 89 just saying but you grab your batman you put the legs up just like this remember this this is like old school right here and these are toys these are just Man, these are a lot of fun. So the one exception is the cape, unfortunately, because of the material, because it's very, again, papery, taffety, ribbony. Uh, it kind of, you have to make it work. But you, once you get them in there, once you kind of figure it out, you close the canopy, put the wings up if you want, or, or Batman's about ready to take off. You know what I mean? That is a lot of fun. Just having that on your shelf, if you are not a big fan of toys in general, you can have this. You get dark side. Right, you can put his arm up and see. You can grab. It. Actually, you know what? That's it's a little bit too. You got to grab him around the waist. You grab him around the waist. It fits perfectly. You zoom off, and you can drop him in a volcano or something like that. It whatever stops it, you know. But like I said, the Batman mixed with the Batwing is it, so much fun. Pop the canopy over and over again. I, just, I can't tell you how cool this is. And then my favorite vehicle, the Batwing, is immensely cool. But the Supermobile is that proper amount of goofiness with dc comics and i absolutely love this thing it makes no friggin sense but i love it you got the big superman logo right there you have fists it's very fleischer right it's very old school science fiction 
old school comics with Superman. I love the back right there. That's a Bruce Tim designed back ship. I, that's the best way I can describe it. Very Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, right? Now, there are some compartments here, and they label these as jail cells. And unfortunately, they're not big enough to actually put a figure in. Maybe down the road, they'll have a figure you can put in there. Or maybe it's for groceries. Superman, he's on his way back to the Fortress of Solitude. He's got to put a place for his groceries. But even with some old school Toy Biz, Kenner, Superpowers, whatnot, yeah, you can you, you can put them in there, but it won't close. And I've tried every single figure, and Robin would be the only one that kind of fits uh, anywhere close to that. Pop the canopy right there, and you can see inside, just like the Batwing, you got stickers, you got a big comfy Superman seat in there, you got enough leg room, diodes, controls. I mean, I can't say enough nice things about this. This is the exact amount of old school proper nostalgia while being something entirely new, which can then fit with all your old school figures, oddly enough. And right here, you got the little dial, and that's the best thing ever. It punches things. That's, <laughs> that's so dumb. I love it. Superman is driving a car that punches things. Ridiculous, right? So you get old soups right here, and that's that was the best thing as a kid. You get all these vehicles, and you just pop them right in, right? Make sure to adjust the cape accordingly. You got to get all that in there. Please do cloth capes, and and please don't peg the tab in anymore. That ruined the cape. I'm such I'm so bummed about that. But close the canopy. You got it. Superman takes off. He's off to uh, fight the Promethean, or uh, you know I don't know, fly to Apocalypse and punch Dark Side in the face, right? You can do that. Easy peasy, boom. <laughs> Dark Side's like, he would be more like, what is this? Like, he, he would get punched because you'd just be in awe of, like, what are you driving, dude? So, you have Superman. He looks great inside the Supermobile. I can't, again, can't say enough nice things. It's the perfect amount of DC goofiness, and I absolutely love it. Now, like I said, I wasn't a big fan of superpowers as a kid. Didn't really collect them. I got them here and there when I found them at garage sales, yada, yada, over the years. So this is my minimal collection. Superman was my very first one. I lost the cape a long time ago. Now, in terms of, like, the action, right, I'm not bummed that these don't these new ones don't have the action. But along the lines later down the road, if you wanted to do more action poses, Action powers, superpowers, yeah, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Now with Batman to his Robins, you could say Dick Grayson, Jason Todd. That's how I always kind of looked at the two of these. But uh, yeah, they scale really well. I need to get some capes for my Robins, that's for sure. But the nice thing, like I said, is that a lot of these old figures will definitely fit into these new vehicles. So you can pop old Robin in there, and yeah, he can fly the Batwing around. Now, with Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, you can see the notable differences. Superman the Animated Series is a little bit too big for these types of ships, just to tell you, but uh, you can you can finagle Batman the Animated Series into this. It's just a little bit of a tight fit. From Batman, Batman Returns, Kenner, Toy Biz, whatnot, you can see the scaling differences for both with these new ones. And, like I said, a cloth cape. If I mean, I'm using a black one from the old uh, Kenner stuff, but, uh, you know, if you gave uh, cloth capes I sure as heck would like it. And with Justice League Unlimited, which will always be my version of superpowers, I absolutely love those. Let me know if you want me to do a video on those coming soon. But, uh, yeah, they will fit in okay as well. You know what I mean? Just different art styles. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys' new for 2022 superpowers, the comeback, featuring Superman, Darkseid, Batman, Batwing, and the Supermobile. Hands down. These are awesome. If you are into this type of thing, if you're a sucker for old school toys, good old fashioned fun, goofy looking toys that do stuff and go in vehicles and punch people with fists that are mechanically attached to the Supermobile, these will definitely be for you. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything superpowers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember... Now, I will tell you this. I'll have links down in the description below for when they go back up or just kind of up in general for the Walmart app. Look for them in your Walmart stores and look for a big shipper box because you might find a really sweet, unannounced green lantern, John Stewart. I'm on the lookout for that guy. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.